Now, some of you may already be familiar with Audio Modern and its creative groove randomizer plugin called Playbeat, but I actually didn't know that much about them when they hit me up to do a review for the new Playbeat version 3. So after doing a bit of research, I had to get my hands on this plugin and show you guys what I thought. Now, Audio Modern is sponsoring this video and sending me this plugin for free to do a review for you guys, but it's all my 100% honest opinion. So if you do enjoy this video, I ask you please drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content, as well as a couple of free sample packs in the description down below. Now let's get into this video. So as I mentioned before, this plugin is a creative groove randomizer where you click a button and it will randomize a complete drum sequence which you can change and alter to your liking. Alright, so here is the plugin right here and there's a lot to uh, be said about this plugin so let's dive right into it. So because I have a pre-release product, uh, there are no presets for me. I actually had to go and download one but if I go over here and uh, here's the pack that I downloaded for myself that they gave to me. Inside of the uh, the beta pack that they gave me, they ha I have 25 presets but it should be different by the time it gets out to you guys. This is a pre-made version of this uh, this plugin. And just by selecting that preset and by alternating over here, you can see that they actually changed the dots and the sequences of the drums. So let's go and hit play and see what everything sounds like. Okay, that's something. Sounds very like trance-y, like dancey. I don't know. All right, so whenever I try to change one of the presets, uh, this actually pops up. FL Studio is actually not crashing. It's uh, everything is fine. I don't need to restart it. It's just this message that pops up, which uh, if you hit okay, everything's the same. I don't know if that'll be a pre-build problem, um, but hopefully it's fixed by the time that it actually gets released. I like this one so far. Let's try and use this one out. All right, now at first sight, the plugin may seem a little bit intimidating, and I'm here to tell you that it is. So with as many features as we're gonna be going through here today, I wanted my complete focus to be on the plugin, so I ended up using a sample for today's beat. And while trying to get familiar with this plugin, I was using this sample right here. And that should work out perfectly. All right, so before we actually go in and tweak a lot of this sequence and uh, volumes and density and everything, here's what everything sounds like before. So I think it's got some pretty solid building blocks here, you know? That's the main way that I've been using this plugin so far is uh, getting some inspiration, keep hitting randomize until I find something that I like and that I know that I could end up using and then editing it after that. So this one right here is gonna be my kick. Number one's gonna be my kick. So over here, I think I actually want to have, um, let's do this and that. And then number eight down over here is going to be my snare. So let's try and get that a little bit more on beat with something. So I think it should be like right there. Get rid of you guys right there. You can't really hear that much right now. So before I go do anything, I'll go over here to the volume tab. So all the ones that are white are uh, the ones that are in use, right? So here's the number one. Same thing over here, that's the white, all right? All the reds are what's not in use. All of the kicks I want to be as loud as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. The highest number is 127. And then for all the ones that are landing on the snare, let's try and use like 110, something around there. Now here's the mixer, okay? Now this is going to be very important for making any sort of beats because you need to have certain things peek out over everything else and little things tucked underneath. So I'm actually going to do, I don't do this as far as my normal mixing, but I'm going to start with everything at zero and then start bringing everything up that I want. Alright, so I think I've got everything the way that I want it to be now. So let's go back over here. And now let's go and try and see if we can't change that snare. So going over here and then uh, doing some sample searching, maybe like this one. Maybe that one. I like that a lot better. Looking at all of these tabs right here, we just went through the volume tab so I can get all of my kicks and my snares to a uh, neutral level that I like. I don't like my, my snares or kicks having too much variation. Of course, right here, I do have it on the middle one a little bit different, but that's nothing crazy. And the snares are all the same, 127, which is the max volume. But anyway, now moving on, we have a few other tabs over here, like pitch, I wanna go over here. Now you can see my snare is landing on F2 right here. The next one is at G2, A sharp, and uh, I think that's B2. And honestly, I'm okay with it being in different notes, like not landing on C5 every single time. Like I think that's gonna be, it adds a little bit more depth behind it, you know, which I really wouldn't have done if I was making my own drum patterns. This is what helps out with those um, creativity points. However, my kicks, I do want to land on, on C every single time, or at least on the same note every time. 
I think D sharp sounds pretty good. So let's try and do D sharp for, for everything. I wish there was a smoother way to do this. It's very difficult to actually just go and try and find the note that you want. I right, so over here we actually have a 16 and 32 step button. So over here is normal. Hitting 32 will double it, all right? And then once you do that, also hitting this button right here will make it so whenever it goes through that loop, it'll loop four times and it'll actually change the pattern up a little bit more. So here's what that sounds like. So that is actually a pretty nifty little feature right there on its own. And then of course, once it stops looping, it will turn off that symbol, which you can do again and increase how many times you want to loop. I actually don't think that I want uh, the bass in here. So this is the bass right here, right? So I'm gonna have it loud so you can hear it real quick. It's actually going solo it too. It sounds great and all, but I don't want it to interfere with my mixing at all. So I might actually not even use it. Now, one point that I really wasn't able to get to was that this plugin actually offers some more melodic elements, like instrumental one shots and even bass lines. I tend to want to stay away from these elements just because it'll interfere with my mixing too much. I want to be able to just mix my drums without interfering the bass or the melody. But also I might just be stubborn and stuck in my ways as a producer. <laughs> all right, so here's what we have after playing out the volume, the mixer and some of the pitch. This is what we have now. That's actually not bad. That's definitely, definitely usable. The main things that I have not really gone through all that much is the density. I don't really know what that is. All right, we know that number eight is our snare. So let's just go and try and bump that up. Okay, so that's what that is. Let's just have you guys doing that. See how that sounds. Huh, but also it's a little bit too loud now. So going back over here and lowering that volume a bit more. We didn't really mess around with the pan too much and another button over here, but they're, they're pretty self-explanatory, nothing too crazy there. But not only that, you can go over here and then hit save and then call it whatever name you wanted to. Just test, you know, just something easy like that. And then you've got the whole preset that you just used saved. Also going inside of the create new pack right here, you can actually also add your own sounds over here, uh, whether you can go with these the stock preset ones or add your own. Add a name for your pack, who it was was me. I don't know why there's only one T there, it should be two. I hate people with someone name with one T. A small description if you wanted to, and then a thumbnail also if you wanted to, and you can upload it for everyone else to use as well. So that's also pretty cool for, that you can actually have it so everyone else can use it too. Also over here, if you for some reason didn't want it to sync, you don't have to. But I really don't know why you would want to use that. Uh, just, I would just sync it to your tempo, to for your DAW. Now, I believe that's pretty much everything that I've got to show you guys here today. Also, in case I have not mentioned it yet, you can see I've got no notes playing. Right here, just the sample playing. But my drums on the Playbeat 3 are still happening. So. Uh, I don't know if there's actually any way to trigger that and to turn it off. Just kind of uh, record into Edison and then call it a day. But I'm actually all right with that now that I've got a pattern that I really like. I might add my own bass, really. Yeah, let's go and do that. You know, I feel like I'm being a little bit too lazy with not with using all samples and then a drum mixer. So let's, let's try and make our own little bass line. All right, gonna go add some Omnisphere for my bass. That's actually not bad. Like I, this is not even the genre that I normally make. Like if this is your first video that you're seeing of mine, this is not the music that I make. And although I actually really do like that snare, uh, I want to try and go find like a layer for it. There's something off about this right here and I don't know what it is. So now that we've got the jump pattern over from the Playbo Playboy, that's not the plugin name. It's from the Playboy. Oh my God, I keep doing that. Now that we've got our Playbeat 3 drums, let's go over here and add some mixing to them. Some DS10 drum shaper for now. Increase the attack, maybe decrease the sustain. Let's try and go get like shipper box two or something like that. Add a little bit of distortion to those mids and highs. And I think that's all that I'm really gonna wanna do to these drums. We could add like a hi-hat loop if we really wanted to. I'll just make one very, very quickly inside of the playlist mode. Just a two-step hi-hat pattern, nothing crazy right now. We're just gonna add a little bit of texture. One of 
What am I making right now? I don't know what it is, but whenever I hit the record button, I end up making something that I was never intending on making. So this Lil Uzi, Kid Leroy, Stay monstrosity was pretty much an accident. But also I'm kind of grateful for it. It's plugins like this that really help me step out of my comfort zone and really try something new. Yeah, why not? Let's make a freaking beat real quick too, all right? I'm done with this beat, you know? It is what it is. All right, yeah, I think I'm done. But this, oh God, this turned out a little a little bit more fire than I thought that it would. This is actually super tight. Okay, so some final thoughts on the plugin. Well, let's look at what we did here today. We made a pretty awesome, albeit a little bit strange, beat, which I really don't think would have been possible without this plugin. It helped us spark some creativity, which we really rolled with, and I feel like we really made our own. So I think that all of that is a win, especially for the price point. Oh yeah, did I mention that they also have a mobile version for your iPhones? <laughs> wild. On the other hand, at first glance, this plugin is extremely intimidating. Like I spent a couple of hours before the video even started just trying to get familiar with it. And it was honestly kind of a headache. And I still feel lost with certain things. It got a bit better once I started getting familiar with the program, but it's definitely not a beginner friendly plugin. That being said, that's all that I've got for you guys here today. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.